Hey, everybody. How are you doing? It's Crystal Ann Compton, and I'm so excited to be with you here today. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. In this video, I'm going to be doing a three card oracle card reading. That is correct. Before we begin, please do all the social media things if you'd be so kind. So wherever you're watching this, please follow, please like, please subscribe, please support the channel. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Mahalo. Now, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you three different cards. Now, before I show you the cards, I want you to think of something that you might be wondering about. Maybe it's a question you have concerning something going on in your life. Maybe you're presently experiencing an issue or a conflict or just a question. Whatever it is, think of it now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold up three cards one at a time. What you're going to do on your end of the screen is you are going to intuitively connect with the cards as you see them. And the card that is meant for you will reveal itself to you accordingly. And this can happen in a lot of different ways. You might just know that it's your card. You might feel something in your body. You might see an image in your mind's eye. You might hear an inner word. Just be paying attention to your own system of intuition to determine which card is for you. And once you've selected, I will reveal the card and we'll discuss what these cards mean. Now, before I actually popped up with you, I spent some time with Spirit going over the deck and we have selected the three cards that are meant for this community. It does not matter when you are watching this video. You can be watching it 17 years from now. It don't matter. As long as you are connecting with your heart and with your intuition, this message is for you. Spirit is non-local. Spirit exists outside of time and space, so you can receive a message many years from now, but that is very, very germane and relevant to you. Okay, without further ado, let me hold up three cards. Are you ready? Deep breath, everybody. Okay, we're connecting intuitively. Starting with card number one. Card number one. Moving on now to card Number two, card number two. And last but not least, card number three, card number three. I'm going to show them to you one more time. Again, you're going to be selecting your own card. Is it card number one with a message for you? Is it card number two, containing a communication from spirit just for you? Or is it card number three, a bit of information from the universe about your life? All right, select now. Before I reveal, please drop down to the comment section wherever you are and let me know which card you are selecting. I ask that you do this because this is your part in the process. It's essentially you claiming the message before you see the cards, because some of y'all switch cards. <laughs> some of you guys say, you know what? I felt number one, but now that I'm seeing three, that applies more. We don't want to do that. We want to trust our intuition by claiming the number that we got and dropping it, dropping it in the comments. So go ahead and do that now. And let's reveal the cards, starting with card number one. Card number one is mask. Ooh, what's this about? Mask. This card is saying to you that you might be hiding something or you might be unsure about revealing an aspect of yourself in a situation. This card can also indicate that now is the time in your life for you to fully step into your authenticity, who you truly are, whether that means in your work, in your relationships, in your health, however it unfolds for you, now is the time for you to step into that authentic power and also show yourselves to others. Don't be afraid to show yourselves to others. Now is the time to do this. This card can also mean that someone around you might be wearing a mask. This can be because they are afraid to show themselves to you. They don't know how to do it. But it can also indicate, especially if you're having a conflict or a problem, that somebody might not be telling you the whole truth or showing you the whole truth. So you are going to have to trust your intuition here. There's a mask on. The question is, are you wearing it 
where is somebody else wearing it? Now, this is not a bad thing because when we ask for the truth, spirit always gives it to us. And so if you need an extra boost of confidence in order to step into your power and take off your mask, or if you need that spirit of discernment from source energy and from the higher self to help you understand what's being shown to you by someone else or some other thing, then ask for that. Because when we ask for that, it is given. That is card number one, mask. Moving on now to those of you who selected card number two, you selected lucky. Lucky. Look at that. Yes, we love lucky. Now, lucky means luck, means serendipity. Things are just going your way. And anytime I see this card, it's an indication that you want to ride the wave of good tidings and good fortune right now because the universe has set it up in such a way. The universal infrastructure has been built in such a way to, to fully support you, especially if you have a project an idea, or something on your mind that you might like to do. Now is the time to do it. Everything works out for your benefit. In addition, when I see this card, this means that manifestation, your manifestation ability, your ability to get into alignment with conscious, subconscious, and feelings is really, really high right now. So even if you don't have a project, or a great idea, you might want to spend some time in meditation considering what you'd like to create for yourself. You know, a people perish for a lack of vision. We cannot really move forward intentionally unless we know what we want to create. And you have that manifestation highway before you right now. If you get a vision, you have the universe's full support around you. Lucky, but also blessed, and also highly favored. Make those moves because it's all working for your benefit at this time. That was card number two. Last but not least, we have the card Saturn. Ooh. Saturn, you know, Saturn's Saturn's a mercurial planet. <laughs> is that funny to say? Saturn is kind of a mercurial, mercurial planet insofar as there is deep and powerful energy involved with Saturn. And I tend to regard it and feel it as kind of karmic. And so when I see this particular card, it lets me know that you are going through a big thing right now. It might not feel really big to you, but whatever you're going through right now or whatever your question is around actually concerns something that's built into your soul's blueprint. This is something you have to answer. This is something you have to decide upon. This is something you have to do in order to pass through this season in your life and get to the other side. And on the other side, we have a clearing of the energy around this. This is not something you can avoid. This is not something you can pretend is not happening. It is happening and it's actually really important. Now, for those of you who see this card and you might be like, well, doesn't really feel like anything major is happening right now. I'm going to ask you to pop your head up above 3D and take a look at the timeline and see what's going on. Even the small things, even the new people that you've just met, even the mentioning of things that might have caught your interest because there's something happening around you right now that is built into your soul's blueprint and your action around this thing is integral. It's critical to your path forward. So we want to be really intentional. We really want to be making those steps, thinking about it, praying about it, and having a vision because you're in a karmic situation. You're in a karmic phase. And the thing about karmic phases, y'all, is that they're one and done, truly. They're one and done. Once you do the thing, once you learn the lesson, you get to move through the phase, good or bad, on to the next thing. Lots of us and I dare say most of us react to the karmic thing, that thing that happens to us or happened to us. And we stay in this spiral and sometimes this, sometimes this tailspin of reaction, keeping the karmic pattern alive, keeping us stuck developmentally and unable to move forward to the next thing because we can't stop reacting to it. And so maybe you've got a life thing that you're always dealing with. And maybe this card is telling you it is time to release this and exit this season of your life and move on to the next phase of your development. 
What's the lesson here? How can we utilize what has been given, even if it was given through trauma and pain? What's the lesson? What does the soul want to learn? And once you determine that, learn it, integrate it, accept and receive it, and the universe will help you to move on to the next thing. Does that make sense? Saturn, very mercurial. All right, let's go back again. Card number one, you got mask. Now, are you wearing a mask? Take it off. We want to see your beauty. We want you to shine your light. Is somebody else wearing a mask? Use your intuition. You can feel that. That's called the spirit of discernment, and you have it. Number two, lucky, lucky, lucky you. You are blessed and highly favored. Now is a time of powerful manifestation. What do you want to create? Uh, people perish for a lack of vision. So get you some vision and or make that move around that thing that you've been thinking about doing because everything's working in your benefit. Last but not least, Saturn, the mercurial planet. <laughs> What's happening? What's the deep thing? What's being moved to the fore of your awareness? What do you want to clear? What's your soul trying to learn from this? Make the move. Do the thing. Be open to the integration and the clearing so that you can get to the next thing awaiting your path. There you have it. What do you think about that? How does that resonate for you? Drop down again, please, and let me know in the comments, either attaching it to your former comment or creating a new comment. I just like to read them. I like to see the fruit of what Spirit and I do before I even get on camera as we select those cards and we bring them to the community. Does it make sense? How does that feel? And I do want to leave you by just saying that even if it doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense right now, please keep that bee in your bonnet. Please keep it in your awareness because it is so common that one week from now <laughs> or two weeks from now or next month, it all falls into place and you understand the message that you received in this video. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. I love doing these readings and I'm thinking about maybe doing these readings weekly and having a theme around them. Maybe like the first week we're looking at our health, the second week of any month we're looking at our money, the third week relationships, the fourth week spirituality, maybe kind of having a calendar of readings and taking that to spirit and asking spirit to give us some insight and some messages. If you'd be interested in that, let me know in the comments because I'm here to serve and I want to do that. And on that note, I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. The Lightshine Development Circle is a sacred place for spiritual seekers to practice giving and receiving readings. The circle is open to all psychics, oracle card readers, mediums, channels, energy healers, Akashic Records readers, and any other type of spiritual practitioner who offers their service via a reading style format. If you're ready to awaken your gifts and talents and fine tune your intuitive abilities, we'd love to have you in the circle.